Greetings of love, peace, health, happiness, and prosperity. I'm Dr. Akila, and today I'm going to talk, oh, actually I'm going to answer a question in reference to our uterine fibroid tumors Q&A uh, video series. So this question comes from Sarah from West Virginia. She sent me an email about a month ago in reference to blood transfusions. Um, her doctor has been pressuring her and pressuring her to have a blood transfusion because she is suffering from heavy menstrual cycles. She, every time she comes on her cycle, she's feeling very drained. She has little to no energy. And there's been a couple of times she has fainted at work. And she'll wake up in the hospital and the doctor is like, you know, you lost a lot of blood, you're anemic, you have low iron. Um, your mineral levels are just all out of whack and they're just so low and in order to rectify this we must give you a blood transfusion or else you're gonna die and I just wanna say on the record that is a big fat lie doctors uh, are known to lie and they're known to scare you they're very good at fear mongering and this is the reason why I don't like a lot of doctors It's because they love to take advantage of women especially if you're a woman who have that yin type energy um, who is uh, receptive to this type of bullying um, they will take advantage of you and they will tell you nonsense like if you don't get this blood transfusion you're gonna die this is a lie and let me tell you why it's a lie the blood that's running through your veins is not the same blood that you expel out of your uterus through your vagina every month during your menstrual cycle your the endometrium lining in the uterus begins to collect after a series of days when your when the ovary releases an egg and goes through the fallopian tube so therefore it's building up this endometrium in hopes to uh, provide the nutrients to the, plus, to the embryo or the egg if it's fertilized and become an embryo. Now, women carry their nutrients in their menstrual blood. So when we have our menstrual cycle, the heavier your menstrual cycle is, the more nutrients you will lose. So it's always great to supplement your diet or supplement your life based upon your lifestyle and this is the reason why it's very important to come to a naturopathic doctor or a health provider who is knowledgeable about this stuff. Now these nutrients are, have a lot of your own nutrients in your body just in case that there is a baby that's going to grow in your uterus. If the egg is not fertilized then the lining in the uterus begins to shed and this is your menstrual cycle all right women who have fibroids that are protruding into the cavity of the uterus or that are growing inside the uterus will have profuse heavy prolonged menstrual bleeding the longer the bleeding the more nutrients you're going to lose and this is why you'll feel tired or you feel like you can't go on and sometimes some women faint. Now the reason why the blood transfusion thing is a scam is because that blood that they're transfusing into your, that, they're, that they want to put in your body is not the same blood that you lost from your uterus. Just think about it ladies. What if the doctor came to you and said, oh, you lost a lot of menstrual blood. Well, we just, you're just in time because we just did a complete hysterectomy to a woman next door and we have squeezed all of the menstrual blood out of her uterus and put it in this bag and this is what we're going to give to you. I mean, just think about it. Would you sign up for something like that? Of course you don't. Of course you would not. First of all, and I'm hoping this is the case, you're smarter than that because you realize that this woman's menstrual period is not, the, the, the blood in that bag is not the same blood that's running through your veins. Well, guess what, sisters, guess what, ladies? The same blood that's coming out that you have lost through your vagina is not the same blood that, you, that the doctor want to put inside you. They have nothing to do with each other. It's a big scam. People give their blood freely. They do blood drives all the time and people sign up 
They're thinking, they're thinking they're doing something well by donating their blood. They're thinking, I'm going to give this blood just in case our troops need it. I'm going to give this blood just in case somebody gets shot, stabbed, or injured. You know, that's when the people who need the blood transfusions are those who have lost a lot of blood due to some type of trauma, physical trauma to the body. These are the people who need blood transfusions. Um, and this is when we give our blood, we're thinking we're saving lives. But we never. But the doctors, when they get the blood, they decide what they're going to, who they're going to give this blood to, and what they're going to do with it. And when you give your blood freely, they make a 100% profit, maybe even more profit, because they got free blood for each unit. They can charge anywhere from two thousand to five thousand dollars to these people's health insurance companies. These are, they can charge it to your health insurance that much money. $2,000 to $5,000. So just imagine, I get a bag of stuff and I make $2,000 $5,000 and I didn't even have to pay for it. Ka-ching! Do you see? Follow the money, ladies. Follow the money. So of course they're going to tell you that you need a blood transfusion because they're going to make mega bucks giving you a blood transfusion when you don't even need it. It's not something you definitely need. You don't need it. You don't, you don't need it. I'm against it. I, if that was to happen to me, I would definitely turn it down and you will not die. You will not die. It's fear, it's fear mongering and that's what doctors do. They have to place and install fear into you so that you can use all logic, all common sense in order to submit to trickery and just nonsense like this. Okay? So, if, so now that I told you how I would feel about it and, and if it was to happen to me, I'm going to tell you what you do in cases like this. First of all, you definitely need to make an appointment with me if you haven't already to shrink your fibroids quickly. I am not, I do not sign up for buy these herbs, buy this herb to shrink your fibroid. No. Everybody is different. Every woman is different. Her lifestyle is different. Her stress level, her emotional background is different. This has an important role in how I help her shrink her fibroids completely away. Now, that's important. The second thing you need to do is if you're suffering from profuse bleeding and you notice that you're blacking out or you notice that you are um, fatigued and anemic, go get, write this down, put this video on pause and go get a pen and paper. Write this down. Liquid chlorophyll. Liquid chlorophyll is what you need. Um, based upon your weight, if you are under 160 pounds, you only need to have two ounces um, during your cycle. And it also depends on how heavy your cycle is. If you have a very, very heavy cycle, you're just going to have to play with the numbers. But if you're under 160 pounds, you need about two ounces twice a day during your menstrual cycle, uh, especially during your heavy cycles. If you're over 160 pounds, and you're having profuse bleeding, you need anywhere from three to four ounces two times a day. Like I said, it just varies. Uh, to be, to have more of um, a detailed uh, uh, suggestion, you know, give me a call or schedule a, a phone consultation. I also offer many consultations if you just want a quick question to uh, an answer in reference to your health. So you do that and you will not have to worry about uh, losing a lot of min minerals because chlorophyll, did you know this, back in World War II, when the soldiers, when the soldiers, when they was losing a lot of blood and they didn't have any more human blood to give to the soldiers to keep them alive, they did blood transfusions with liquid chlorophyll. This is documented in medical journals. This is also known by the American Medical Association. Liquid chlorophyll is what I call plant blood and it's equivalent to our blood and therefore if you want something that's going to help you rebuild your blood and get your minerals back in line that you lost, liquid chlorophyll is the way to go. Alright? So that is my take on the blood transfusion. It's a scam. It's a hoax. It's a con. Women who are bleeding through their uterus from fibroid tumors, not hemorrhaging, okay? Hemorrhaging is different if you're hemorrhaging because of an abortion or you're hemorrhaging because there was some kind of trauma or uh, injury done to the uterus for, for an IUD or something like that. 
that's different. You are bleeding through your circulatory system. But when you are just having a menstrual cycle from the buildup of the, the uterus lining, the endometrium lining, that's not the same blood that we give or donate to the blood drives or to the to the uh, hospitals and medical society. So it's not needed. You will not die. Nothing will happen to you. And just say no because I, I think it's not right to take other people's blood for something that you don't need. That blood could be used for someone who really needs it. Someone who has been cut, stabbed, shot, or had some kind of traumatic, uh, some traumatic bodily harm that they need that blood transfusion, not because you had a heavy menstrual cycle, okay? All right, if you have any more questions in reference to uterine and fibroid tumors, please feel free to email me. You can go to our website at healingpowerhour.com. Uh, my email address is there. And to schedule an appointment to shrink your fibroids so you don't have to worry about all this foolishness, then you can uh, give me a phone call or you can schedule online as well. Okay? This is Dr. Keela, and I leave you as I greet you with the blessings of love, peace, health, happiness, and prosperity. Take care and have a great one. Thank you.